Let's see which camera is working. Ah, my Logitech uh, Brio. It's a USB camera. It's uh, about $200, which is really, I believe it's a current price. Um, in my opinion, that's, that's a little too much money for it, considering what you can, other things you can do. But uh, it is a nice camera. Uh, I can switch to... Not that one. That's the C920, and that's uh, much more... It's Now, the Brio is 4K. But uh, I don't even... You know, I don't see an advantage to, re, re, you know, using 4K. Uh, but so this, uh, the C920 is... I'll put links, I guess, to both of these below. Uh, reasonably priced, and it's a good, really, really good can. USB, Logitech USB uh, webcam. Um, last night, I forget what time we left, uh, and we were gone for hours. We, my daughter, uh, asked me if I wanted to go to the casino with her. We're in Fort Worth, Texas, and when you drive over into Oklahoma there, there are a bunch of casinos. And uh, so we went to one of the casinos. And I've got some little tiny bit of video coming up that I made with my uh, Android phone. And I don't usually do that. I don't usually uh, make, but it worked out okay. I made some very short clips with the uh, phone and I have uh, Amazon I have Google photos and I have Amazon photos and I think that was made and uploaded immediately uh, to Amazon photos so it was available so I just downloaded um, let me move this over here one, two, three, four. Four very brief clips from the casino video. And I think the last video shows you the screen, one of the screens of the, of the uh, machine I was playing on. So let me update you. Um, Uh, Hillary won some money. She did pretty good. And I won $250. And uh, so then we left there, I think about around 5 a.m., I believe. I'm not sure. Um, and we went to Whataburger that's open 24 hours a day and picked up food for... Hillary and myself and then for my ex-wife Darlene and my grown son here and then Hillary also of course got uh, uh, you know food for herself and for her son grown son so um, and then that's I guess that's it I wish I had taken more video of the uh, screens there I should have done that Maybe next time I go, I'll do... Oh, what I wanted to tell you about is a little bit about... Um, I had never gambled until um, I went to one BBS con in Colorado Springs in 1993. And Colorado has... Or had, I, I'm not sure now. But they had... Uh, some small gold mining towns where, you know, that they had, I guess, passed legislation because these were small towns and the gold mining people had moved out a hundred years before or something like that. So they were allowed to do gambling. And so I had never done any gambling. And uh, I went to this one BBS con with a uh, ER doctor, emergency room doctor friend of mine. And, uh, so we drove, uh, he drove up to 
one of these gold mining. And now uh, this ER doctor, <laughs> he liked to gamble a lot. But he wasn't the only one. I was working at a small, and he was, at a small hospital. And just about uh, tons of the employees there would go out to Las Vegas and uh, gamble on a pretty regular basis. And uh, and uh, he was really into, you know, to gambling. He, he enjoyed gambling with him and his wife and what have you. Um, so he had gambled. I had not. So we went up to this gold mining town, and uh, he gambled and won a little bit, and I gambled, and I didn't win, but I thought it was really fun, and I wished, I thought, man, I wish I could do this. This is, you know, this is fun, and uh, and I'm not sure when, but then the state of Missouri uh, argued, you know, the uh, born again group, the uh, Christian fundamentalist and others in the state of Missouri were, you know, opposed to gambling. And um, other people wanted gambling to help the economy and all that type of stuff. Um, I can't remember if the scratch-off lottery came at the same time or if the boats uh, gambling came later. But I remember that, I think maybe the scratch, I might be wrong, the scratch off might have been first. Um, they got that and then they, you know, <laughs> got in the, you know, the boats. Um, uh, let's see, I wonder if that, let's see, maybe look for this. Can't spell Missouri. Yeah, okay, here it is. Oh, wow. Closed. Is that correct? Oh, man. It breaks my heart. Oh, this is going to be trip advisory. That's not going to be... Uh, Samstown YouTube, let's see. Wikipedia, okay. Samstown Gambling Hall, Kansas City, Missouri. Samstown Gambling Hall was a riverboat casino in Kansas City, Missouri, docked at I-35 and uh, Missouri 210. It was owned and operated by Boyd Gambling Corporation in September of 1995 so that was about what two years later uh, opened as the third gambling casino under that brand and the fifth casino in Kansas City Missouri area uh, okay they closed I guess let's see they closed in 1998, selling many of its assets. The boat is no longer docked at the property. Um, so, anyway, in Missouri, I remember the uh, advertising campaign for getting the voters to approve of uh, scratch-off tickets and, and lottery-type things for the state of Missouri, run by the state of Missouri. It was, uh, oh, wow, you know, they had advertisements. If this passes, uh, schools will be, brand-new schools will be, be built. They'll be the, 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 they'll be the best schools in the, in the world. They, the pavement will be, it'll be paved in gold leading into the school. It will just be fantastic, you know. There's just going to be so much money. These schools won't know what to do with the money. And we can use money, we'll use this tax money that comes from, it'll be for 
we built new roads and just all types of stuff. So, of course, it was approved. And uh, so then it was like, then they wanted uh, casino gambling. And people were, you know, I don't know, you know. Uh, so then they they came up with, you know, well, Missouri, you know, the Mississippi and the Missouri River had river boats in the olden days. Oh, they had just river boats going up and down all the time. And so uh, it'd be really great, you know, to have uh, river boats, you know, with uh, casino gambling that would only be allowed on, you know, the on the Missouri River and, uh, you know, whatever. And uh, so anyway, it was approved. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it was, what they did is they had, I don't know if any of them, I think some of them actually one or you know, actually were boats. They could actually unhook from a dock and actually go out. I'm not sure they did that. But uh, then what they did is they wanted a, you know, a location or whatever. And I think it was, they just like dug a trench, you know, a little trench or whatever over wherever they wanted it. And let, some river water run into there and then they could say you know well you know it's so that came so so then i started going to the uh casino and uh in kansas city missouri and gambling and i spent one year where i was working midnight shifts at a lee summit hospital at a small hospital and i worked midnights and so what i did is i stayed up on my days off, I stayed up all night long, and then I slept during the daytime. So when I was at work, I was alert and not like a bunch of other people, you know, uh, suffering. And so there was a, that year that I worked, I worked one year at that hospital. I uh, drove over every, just about every night to the casino and went in and gambled. I kept track of how much I won and how much I lost, and of course, at the end of the year, I had uh, lost a lot more than I had, you know, won, which is, you know, mis casinos are set up and designed to to make money, and uh, so uh, in 2000, I uh, left Missouri and went to... Um, Orlando, Florida, on the way down uh, with my son, we stopped, and I, I forget, Kentucky or Tennessee state line or something, rather, where there was, where we were staying at a motel over the night, and uh, we went to the casino, you know, we lost, uh, went to Orlando, uh, in Titusville, where right there is uh, Kennedy Space Center, where the shuttles were launched and everything, where there are still some launches going on of different types of things from there. But um, went out. It was a a ship, so we had to board the ship. Then we had to wait until everybody was on the ship. And then when it was beyond 12 miles, you know, beyond 12 miles, then you could gamble. It was a gambling ship. And I lost. Uh, uh, and then when, you know, then we had to wait until, you know, so I went out and looked at the, you know, the ocean or whatever. And then the ship goes back, you know. I can't remember if I went to any other places. Uh, don't think so. Then I was to um, Texas for a while, and then with a different son to Miami. I went down there and was there for five years or whatever, but went down there, and with that son, I went to some of the uh, casinos down there, lost, you know. I didn't like the casinos at all. Uh, well, you know, if you don't win, if you don't win, you don't, you're like, but uh, one or more of them were like Indian casinos, and I just didn't, uh, 
didn't like the way anything was handled with him. Did go to one casino, and I forget which one it was, in the uh, Miami area, and it had a racetrack, horse racing track there or whatever, and it was really a massive place, and they had all brand new machines and everything, but, you know, I did, I just, I haven't won any, I didn't win any money, uh, it was just a bad experience. Uh, and I finally stopped going to the casinos down there. So a few years ago came to uh, Fort Worth. I'm trying to think where I am. Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, just started going not long ago to uh, the casinos over in Oklahoma, you know, when I was here uh, before to t in Texas, yeah, that's right, I took a bus to New Orleans with, I can't remember who went with me, which one of my kids, but anyway, uh, or did I go alone, took a, bu a bus, it was a, kind of a long bus, it was a long bus ride because it was provided by the casino in New Orleans, and it stopped at every crossroad, and these people got on the bus that were... Uh, you know, it was in small towns or whatever, and I think this is the only, I'm not sure how often the bus ran. It was a pretty regular basis, but these people were like, they knew the bus driver, hey, you know, whatever, and went to that casino there and lost, and then, you know, took the bus ride, and it stopped at every, because they had to pick up one or two people at a little crossroads, you know, and uh, so I, I also went, yeah. So anyway, um, I think I already told you that I. So basically, after I left Kansas City area, Kansas City, Missouri area, I never won at a casino. I don't believe until a couple weeks ago, and I went and and, and also and I won some money. Uh, now. I, when I came here, I had gone a few times, lost, 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 and a couple of weeks ago I won some money, and then I won some money last night. It's much more fun when you win money, you yeah, know. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to show you the video that I think, let's see. Yeah, I think you'll get the drift of it. I just wish that I had, at each one of the machines that I played at, I wish I'd have just taken a uh, a little video so you could see the. But uh, anyway, here's here I am gambling in Oklahoma at uh, Borders Casino. They they had a when I first went they went they had an older thing and they tore it down and they built a new one and it's really nice and I really like their machines and everything that they have so anyway here's that video and thank you for watching oh come on man he can don't they keep having the same pop I'm life member or whatever and I keep having these things pop up. I wish they'd do it differently. Anyway, thank you for watching. Greetings. Uh, right now we're getting gas but we're heading to the casino over across from Texas in Oklahoma and uh, Last time I went, which was, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, I actually won a little bit of money. I think about $400. And that is unusual because I've been losing. Of course, you always lose money. But uh, so I, since I left Kansas City, Missouri in 2000, I've been losing money. Sorry about that. So we're heading to the casino to hopefully win some money. I will update you. 
Well, we are at the casino, but we have locked our keys in the car. We haven't even gone inside and we've locked our keys in the car. So we're calling a locksmith, so we, we need to win some money to make up for a loss already. Probably about $120, I bet you. Anyway, I'll be checking back in with you. Okay, we haven't even made it into the casino yet, but we're going to get the car keys out. Got a lady here who does uh, jump starts, auto repairs, vehicle unlocks. 